Hey guys, it's Sebastian here from Noble Frugal Studio coming at you guys with a video on an unusual time. I know I don't usually post videos on Friday, but I thought it would be um, a pretty good idea for those of you who are more familiar with using Open Tunes. And um, so you guys see a lot of my beginner tutorials and I don't want to leave you guys out. Um, so I decided maybe I'll make some videos on Friday so that you guys can get um, some more advanced information so that the beginners aren't getting at everything. So. This video, I'm going to be developing a final color palette for our, my character in my short film, Castle Dark. His name is Pi, if you didn't know. You guys do in one of the cards. I can tell you more about Pi. But um, I, have, I made this model sheet a while ago to demonstrate uh, a walk cycle with Pi, and I meant to test out um, shaders and things like that. And that's kind of what we're going to be doing today. So I'm going to make a final color. It's on a vector layer. I actually colored with vectors as well. But um, I realized that vectors aren't exactly very reliable for coloring. And especially from my film, I want to use something that's going to be um, it's going to be reliable, something that won't um, that isn't as finicky as the vectors in OpenTune. So I'm going to actually just I'm going to decide not to use them. I will use them for line art. However, the coloring phase of it uh, is just it's just, uh, kind of a mess. But without further ado, let's get all these effects, um, these vector effects off of the skin layer um, on, off of all the colors so that we can get to. Um, just a color palette. So I'm going to take, I'm going to, you see, I got into the vector window right here, going to each, each color. And as you can see, you can just collect different effects for them. I'm going to select this little effect that has the red line through it because I'm, I don't want any more effects. Let's get out of here. So I thought it would be a good idea to use these because they make, they make the film you look unique. However, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. So make sure this one. Okay. Um, so this line's still squiggly for some reason. Maybe we need to get here. We go. I accidentally used two different line um, colors. That wasn't a that was a mistake. So this is our animation so far. Just a very basic pie walking, and I'm going to change these colors, and then we're going to test out some different lighting modes um, on pie to see how he looks, and maybe I'll tweak the colors just a little bit. So first of all, I don't like the color of this belt. It needs to be a little more. Let me get the wheel down here. It's gonna. There we go. A little more desaturated, a little more sand colored. Yeah, something like that. Something that doesn't look too um, vibrant. And of course, I'm going to do further tweaking after this video. You have to finalize your color palettes. And I'll show you guys how to save them as well. There's a whole video on colors if you guys want to watch it, want to watch that. But um, it's important if you have characters. Okay, that looks pretty good for now. It could change in the future. However, this this already is looking pretty good. Let's just check up on his feet color. I like that color. Not sure I like the skin so much though. So let's change that a little bit. So I like I like this. Um, I think I'm gonna keep it like this. It could just be for this video. However, I do like where this is going. So now what we're gonna do is we're, we're gonna create different light spots. And we're gonna use those light spots so that we can see how Pi looks um, under different lighting conditions. So I'm gonna head over to this animation tab so I can get this effects schematic right here. And I'm going to go hover over here, add effects, um, light, and we're going to do light spot. We're going to make a couple of these, so um, just pay attention how what the process is to making them. Okay, so we're going to go on um, rendered mode. Softness, I'm going to make this 0 0.02, I think. Actually, let's do point, yeah, point 0.05, perhaps. There we go. Tone it down just a tad. Um, we're going to make this, this is going to be the warm light color that Pi encounters while he's in the kitchen. And now to make this light spot not look totally terrible. Let's add a glow effect to it. Oh, I realize Pi looks like he's in front of this because this um, there's a keyframe on here that's, that makes him, it's dragging him up. So there we go. So now he's a, you can see him affected by that very, very vibrant light. We're going to drag this maybe over here, perhaps. And okay, that looks pretty good so far. Let's make it, I'm going to turn the soft down, softness down a little bit because I need to see all the colors that are involved, that are, um, being displayed on the light, not just the ones on the edges. Softness can go back to two. That's pretty good. Um, maybe scale this down to, to it's very small. Put it right against his head. Okay, I like where this is going. I like um, the colors that I'm seeing here. I like the colors that it's displaying. Very transformative, that natural shading is happening. Basically, I'm gonna copy this, paste it. I'm gonna make a ton of them. I'm gonna make a cool light next, um, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I hit the last light by um, clicking this little icon up here, my eye icon up here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm looking for a sort of crystal white. And wow, this already looks very, very good. I'm going to go a little bluer, 
a little bit more blue. Uh, maybe not that blue. Yeah, that's pretty good. And I really like what I'm seeing here. Um, wow, so these colors are actually pretty optimized for each type of light. Well, I thought we were gonna have to make some changes. However, I do kind of like what I'm seeing. Maybe everything except for this, except for this belt. Let's make it like a radical kind of color. Say if he's in, um, say if the sky is red and something bad's happening, you know, how they they do in some animated movies to emphasize the, the drama of the situation. So this is a red light. Okay, nice. Let's go down here. Okay, so I think this belt color, I'm not, not loving the way it's appearing next to these, some of these lights. So let's go to the palette, um, palette room. And let's select pie and let's see what we can do about this because I'm not really liking that, the belt color. Yeah, it's these little tiny tweaks that you want to make when you're developing the official color scheme simply because you want it to be perfect. And I think what the the thing that I'm finding wrong here is that this thing is a little too um, yellow because pie is more of a, pie is a red. But it could be perhaps that um, I have to keep it yellow so that there's um, a distinction between his skin and the rope. So it doesn't look like he's, his shirt cuts off. Um, okay, so that, that's okay. I guess there's nothing we can really do about that. Now let's try a blue, very blue, very blue color. He, re he reacts to blue pretty good. It looks it looks very cool how he does it. The purple is nice against the blue. Makes him shine in a way that the others don't. Let's see, green, Casey's in like a refracting ice cave. Green, um, it's okay. I'm not loving it, but it could be that um, I'm not going to use all of these colors really when it comes to light. This teal looks nice. Um, nothing to write home about. Purple is good because we already know Pi's um, tunic is, pur is purple. So yeah, he looks pretty good under all these lights. And let's try like kind of like a daylight situation. Just like this. This is perfect. He looks very, very good under all of these lights. That means we are good to go for this color scheme, um, for this color palette. So now I guess since we're, we're good to go, I'm going to save the color palette as Pi's official color palette. Of course, I can make some tweaks in the future, but so I went to the palette room and I'm going to go over to Pi's line art tab where we have all the colors right here. This is a uh, page two. And so let's go over here. Hit save palette as, and we're in our castle dark folder. Actually, I'm going to navigate to the actual castle dark folder. It's actually located somewhere else. Don't ask. It's just some poor organization. Let's go to palettes. And so I have a, I had a first draft here. I'm gonna name this Pi Dash Colors. And I guess in that in that case we can name it V2 because it is the second version. Um, so we hit save, and there we go. Hit save all after that. And now we've just created the color palette for the main character of Castle Dark, Pi. So that's pretty cool. I really do like the ability to have a palette in Open Tunes. This is a really really important to do for your own characters. That way you guys can make. Um, official color palettes and you can edit them and save them as well as test them against these lights because it's actually very important that you do so um, especially with very natural colors if you plan to make um, if it's a sci-fi sort of thing maybe you can test with more drastic blues and greens however um, Castle Dark is a medieval so I'm going to be using a lot of natural light a lot of warm light and stuff like that perhaps some blue lights say if he's in a cave or something like that um, a lot of the reflections of the water can reflect a, a bluish sort of light but for the most part, it's going to be natural sunlight. So definitely something that you guys want to consider when making color palettes in OpenTunes. Really glad to have OpenTunes as a free open source 2D animation software to use at my disposal. I'm very thankful for that because this, it's so powerful and it costs nothing at all. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, of course, go to my Discord channel. I can help you guys there. If you want to support the work of Castle Dark, you can head over to my Patreon page. You can gain access to the Patreon feed for as low as $1 a month. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more Friday videos like this for more advanced users of OpenTunes. It could change in the future. But with that said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.